Hey, what's up guys, Imran here with Monster Gadgets and today is Thursday, which means we are gonna go ahead and kick it off with episode number one of Tutorial Thursday. And by the way, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you might be. So let's start. All right guys, welcome back. So today we're talking about how to level out your audio levels. Obviously you'll be shooting in different situations, different surroundings, different environments, which means your audio level is always going to be different. But when you're putting it in, in post-production and you're putting all your clips together, you wanna to make sure for your audience, your level is audio. You don't wanna be in a position where your one clip is extremely high, other clip is extremely low, and then people have to turn their speakers up or speakers down, and the worst part is, when all of a sudden your audio level is low and all of a sudden it kicks it really high and people are like, ah, like I can't follow and they gotta like turn it down or if they're wearing headphones, they gotta take the headphones off or whatever. So anyways, the importance of having an audio level that's leveled is obviously a professional look, but also making sure that your audience has a wonderful experience listening to as well as watching your video. So let's just go ahead and jump into Adobe Premiere and let's figure out how we can level out your audio levels. All right guys, so we are in Adobe Premiere. I've got two clips that I created just so we can see two different audio levels. A um, Couple of things to note on here. Number one is your audio channel, which is the first one here, and towards the bottom right here. This is our second audio right here. And one thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you've got your audio meter on your Adobe Premiere loaded. So when I play these clips, you guys can take a look and see how the first clip is and where it lands. It's basically peaking at about negative two, negative four decibels. And the second clip, it starts off at negative four, negative six. And really when I start whispering, it comes down to about negative 18 or negative 16. So I'll go ahead and play that now so you guys can take a look and see what this sounds like. All right, for demonstration purposes, this is my normal tone. We're gonna use this clip to test out the audio levels. All right, now for demonstration purposes, I'm using a lower tone of voice to see the audio level. So as you can see, the first clip, I was talking a little bit louder, which means there it's a little bit louder, so it's gonna be a little bit higher volume. And the second clip, because I'm whispering, it's not as high. So for us to stabilize these two, there's two things we need to do. Under your uh, effects panel right here, we're gonna go ahead and type in multi-band, multi-band. Multi so when multi, I'll type that in. And then as you can see under, I'm not gonna look at the presets because I've had that set. Uh, under the audio effects, you'll see a couple different things. Multi-band compressor, obsolete, and multi-band compressor. So you don't wanna select the obsolete one, you wanna select the compressor. So we're gonna click and drag this and drop it onto our audio, just like that. And then you've got that effect on here. So under the con effects control tab, we're gonna scroll down to where it says multi-band compressor. Under custom setup, let's go and click on edit. In here, this screen looks a bit overwhelming. There's a lot going on, but don't worry, we'll, we'll get through it. For whatever reason, I'm not sure why Adobe has it this way, but as a preset, you can see broadcast is selected, but there's really no values that are showing up. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on this drop-down menu, and you can go ahead and pick anything from the drop-down menu, it doesn't matter what it is. And then we're gonna go ahead and go back and click on broadcast. When we do that, as you can see, now it's got those preset values set for us. The only thing that you have to do in here and really edit is two, two different things. Number one is attack, and number two is the release. So the attack means how quickly is it gonna pick up and be able to adjust the audio levels to the settings that we have set. So right now it's four milliseconds. Normally I like to have that at two milliseconds, that way it's quick as quickly as possible. It, it picks it up and edits it and modifies it to these appropriate levels. Now for a normal person, you won't be able to tell because two milliseconds is, is nothing. So the way the audio is playing, it'll be stabilized before you can even notice it's being stabilized. So once it attacks it or stabilizes it, at what point do we wanna go ahead and release it? So that it drops back down to the appropriate level. It's set to 500 milliseconds. I like to have that around 300 milliseconds. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put 300. So that way it's a nice um, level. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and click on click out of it and now you've got your uh, audio level set for this particular clip. Now, if you have multiple clips, do we have to go back and click and drop and, and do it for every clip? Yes, but 
there's a shortcut. So now that we've already applied it to one of our clips, all you gotta do is go back to the multi-brand compressor, right click on it, and click on Save Preset. So you can go ahead and name it whatever you want. I've already created one before, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you under my preset. I called it multi-band compressor preset speaking. So that's just my cue for an interview that I'm doing. I'm gonna use that preset for all my interviews. So once I've got this preset made, all I do is click and drag and bring it over onto my other clips. So if I've got five different clips, I won't have to go through this multi-band compressor, drop it, go into settings and re-edit it. All I gotta do is go into my preset click and drag onto each clip, and then it's automatically going to set all the custom settings that I set for, for it. So let's go ahead and play this clip now, and I'll show you what this sounds like with the audio now leveled. All right, for demonstration purposes, this is my normal tone. We're going to use this clip to test out the audio levels. All right, now for demonstration purposes, I'm using a lower tone of voice to see the audio levels. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So as you notice, the first clip is leveling out basically at negative two, almost at zero, maybe at negative three. The second clip, even the whispering part, is coming out to about negative six, negative four. Now, if you wanted to make that higher, you certainly can. All you gotta do is just make this a little bit bigger so we can see the audio and click and drag this all the way up. So let's just say five decibels. Now if I play this back, as you can see, it should I'm be using a lower tone of voice to see the audio levels. All right, for just like that. So a couple of ways to do it. The multiband compressor sets the tone for you. If you wanna make other modifications to it, you can do it manually like this. Do you have to use a multiband compressor? No, you don't. Can you do it just a manual way? You absolutely can. But keep in mind that if you've got multiple different clips, you're gonna to have to go in and manually level out each single clip manually, where the multiband compressor sets a benchmark for you and then you can go ahead and modify it accordingly from there so that's how i personally like to do it if, if you guys know a better way to do it please leave it in the comments below share with me as well as others who might who might benefit from uh, this video before we jump out one other thing that i want to note is right now i don't have the denoise filter on here i did a separate video on the denoise filter uh, which you guys can check out i'll go ahead and drop a card on it now but that is another preset that I had set. I'm going to go ahead and click out of here and go under my preset. As you can see, the noise, the noise preset. I'm going to go ahead and drop these on both my clips here. So now you guys can hear what this sounds like. All right, for demonstration purposes, this is my normal tone. We're going to use this clip to test out the audio levels. All right, now for demonstration purposes, I'm using a lower. So as you can see, it got rid of some of that white noise as well. I use both of these settings on probably 99% of all the clips that I do just because I want to make it sound really good and really professional and get rid of any of the white noise, make sure everything's leveled out and it sounds good. So that's what I do for almost all of my clips. So now let's go ahead and jump out of Adobe Premiere. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.